Ah, uh, what's cracking, YouTube? I guess while nobody's here, I can. Uh, see that working there. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, what? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. How about that? All right, that's better. Man, it's a weird night, different night. There's our what's up, RB? How you doing, man? I missed your um. It was game night for you tonight, right? I meant to jump into that thing. How'd it go? Elijah Davis, what's cracking? I wonder if you guys would find me on it on this new night, this one one time only. <laughs> How y'all doing, man? It's Friday night. Anybody remember TGIF? It's Friday night. It's good, RB. And the mood is right. Gonna have some fun. Show you how it's done. TGIF. Jay Watts. Jay Wiggity. What's up, man? Hey. hey. I'm gonna make a big deal, Jay. If we get if we get people's up in here, man. But Jay Watts' birthday was the other day, man. Happy birthday to Jay Watts. Everybody say happy birthday to Jay Watts. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> Jay Wiggity. He's a year older. Blessed to see another year. That's what's up, man. Always good. Where is this fool? Uh, here he is. Aquamate, you're, you're ducking me. Where you at, man? Where you at, mate? Oh, 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 I forgot to send you the link. <laughs> hey, man. My bad. <laughs> I wonder why he wasn't here. I forgot to send him the link. All right, so let me go ahead and send this link to him. Uh, I knew he wouldn't duck me. How's everybody Friday? I know it's about like Friday evening. I'm not sure what you guys will be doing. I know it's not, you know, you're not used to seeing me here. So, you know what I'm saying? What you what you guys got cracking? Oh, I can't send you a link from here. Just come into the thing. Man, I hate. All right. Come into the chat. <clears throat> yeah man so um i'm not sure if you guys looked at my community page but i uh showed a picture of my classroom um before and after and um i like the way that it looks i had freshman orientation today which means that the freshman class came in and they were able to go to their classes right um, so they went, they did a, a small, like 20, 25 minute session with their actual teachers. So we were all in our classroom and only the freshmen came to the school. So whatever their first hour was, they would go to their first hour class, whatever their second hour was, they would go to their second hour class third and so on. Right. And we just give them a rundown about, you know, what we, you know, expect in the class. And, you know, we have a little spiel on the board about how stuff is graded here. Like you guys are coming from the eighth grade, right? Um, you're coming from the eighth grade and you don't know what the high school is like because you've been doing whatever it is that you want to do in eighth grade. But that ain't this. All right. New principal, four years in the trenches. Y'all the youngest in the, in the crew. You know what I'm saying? Probably the largest class, but still the younglings. Y'all don't know nothing about the building. Get your classes on time to start off the first quarter right. 
Don't be doing no stupid stuff. So, you know, I already laid it out for him on the wood right there. Uh, uh, uh. Next week, we're not doing no work. We're just going to get to know you. Relationship building the whole nine. The whole nine. Uh, Aquamate, you are not late. I forgot to send you the link. I, I'm sitting here waiting for you, and I'm like, oh, man, he's dodging me. <laughs> and then you were like, where's the link? Uh, let me tell you, it's it's. I've got a lot on my mind. I've got a lot on my mind. All right, this link is for Aquamate and Aquamate only. There you go, sir. Big Easy, thank you for coming through. New Local Austin, thank you for coming through. Yeah, so it was a uh, it was a real deal. So um, I was able to meet them. Uh, they really kind of packed out. We've got about 748 students and still counting that are coming back to the school in person. Um, everybody's masked up. I've got plenty of sanitizer that I'm wiping down. I'm wiping down um, um, chairs and tables when they leave and whatnot. <clears throat> Excuse me. High school was the best seven years of my life. I'm sure it was. Funky funk. <laughs> and here we are, the man of the hour, Aquamate himself. You ready to come in, man? Are you ready? They got the thumbs up and he's ready to go. Welcome. Welcome to America. <laughs> Business time, yo. <laughs> How are What's you? up, man? Oh, not a lot. Just watching some uh, American football to celebrate. This joyous occasion. <laughs> okay. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. You're yeah, looking yeah. looking well. Oh, it's all a facade. I'm not well. <laughs> <laughs> um, am I late or are you early or what? The <laughs> no, 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 What's no. Going on? Wait. No. So, yeah, I, I think I probably did press. No, my. Oh, okay. This is what it is. With StreamYard, they have a seven minute something lapse. So it always tells me it's showtime. And when I do it, I'm already seven minutes in for some reason. And when I look at my clock, I'm like, I was right on time. But that's what it was. It's not you. It's not you. That's weird. Because I, I, I did a live stream the other day, which I haven't done for a long time. And, um, and it was all on time. It all worked. <laughs> You're good. You're up in here. We got this thing going. And your camera is doing much better than mine. I've got to get rid of this uh, laptop camera. <laughs> um, super clear. And I think I'm Can you hear frosty. that? Uh, no, it's only – I'm using like a proper SLR. But see the motion's a bit funny? No, you look great. I am I look foggy. And I licked my uh, – uh. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh, no. <laughs> Did I just cheat on my wife? <laughs> <laughs> Riker Stan, thank you for coming through Pompeii Ranch, Lady Diane. Oh, my God, it's worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's only because I can, if I use the webcam, it'll look the same. Do you want me to use my webcam so that I'm no. not so pretty? No. <laughs> You're looking better than me on my own stuff. <laughs> Not hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be one of those streams. <laughs> we set the tone early. <laughs> now, thanks well, for having me on. I keep um keep catching some of your uh, hot seats or hot what is it? Hot spot. Hot spot. It's off there. I was like, no hot seats, uh, Rob. Yeah, the hot spots, and right. I'm always working. And then you said, oh, you should jump up one day. And I'm like. I would, but I'd probably get fired. So thank you for doing this on a Friday night because I'm not going to get fired and I can join you. <laughs> Jay once said I just molested 17 viewers. <laughs> when that, yeah, you did. that tongue comes out, it gets to, it gets to throwing its weight around. <laughs> oh, God. PB, thank you for the 499. I appreciate you, brother. PB, be safe on your way to Arizona. He just had a quick little live stream on his way to Arizona. Be safe. 
<laughs> and I say that with all sincerity because I've driven with him for about a 45 minute ride. It's a scary thing. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear every now and then it sounds like a train's going outside the room? Uh-uh. I've got too much uh, water going on in these tanks. I just shut down four tanks, and I got my big boys left because I've, I got I'm, I got to move Sunday. And, uh, yeah, I got to do some cleaning, get the water levels going. I really think about switching out my 75-gallon and doing some other things with it. Um, trying to get the classroom looking nice. Aqua Aquamate was uh, what we were on Instagram. What it's not FaceTime because it's not Apple, but it's Instagram. Insta, what is it? Insta face. Look at me, chat. <laughs> Look at me, chat. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah, know I what behind the scenes to us. I'm, I'm too old, Pape Ranch. Thank you for the five dollars for some food because you're eating the camera. You must be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, <laughs> definitely. Oh, my God. And remember, everybody, all Super Chats are going to go to the classroom. Um, for the people that have made donations already, I've been, I've been able to get some stuff. Um, if you look at the picture, I was able to get like some 10 gallons and a stand that can hold 20 gallons. So I'm still looking for some, some covers and maybe um, some 20 gallon tanks. And so I'm still stacking up man so i really appreciate you all really appreciate you all um aquamate hit me up on instagram or actually we was texting on instagram or whatever and then i decided to hit the camcorder button and insta face insta faces face time insta style or whatever it is <laughs> and we were on so long that i was riding to the school and he <laughs> he was able to walk into the school with me and hear me interact with some of my colleagues as I'm going through the school. He was first on the scene when I showed him my classroom. And it was just a it was just a testament to the camaraderie that we have had for years because we sent we kind of just started this. We kind of started this thing together. Yeah. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> That is so bad. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Mate, for ten dollars and finding another teacher, a decent one. <laughs> we don't want Mr. Clark. <laughs> it's a, it's so ironic that my uh, that my last name is Clark because from Lean on Me, if you've watched it, classic um, Joe Clark. When the when the kids say like, we are going to get rid of Mr. Clark and we're going to get you a good principal. We don't want a good principal. We want Mr. Clark. <laughs> I'll have to watch it. <laughs> I've probably seen it when I was a lot younger. Oh, my God. Jay Watts with the super sticker, 99 cent super sticker. Thank you, Jay Watts. And Jay Watts' birthday was the other day. Happy birthday, Jay Watts. Happy birthday. Happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> this is cool seeing a lot of people eat some Aussies, Sheps Aquatics. Select pet Sheps Aquatics. Funk, Pam, haven't seen a lot of these people in ages. Blake, a teacher that knows how hats work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That knows how hats work. I'm pissed. Thanks a lot, Blakes. <laughs> Protecting one of you. <laughs> Thank you, Fishion Tactics. Tank Tactics. Tank Ticks. Perfect. All right. I'm sorry. I'll stop derailing the bloody <laughs> stream. You were yeah, being man, look. and sentimental, and then I went, just went whack. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, like so, us coming into this thing and for us to still do it. What is the hardest thing about being a YouTuber since you put a couple of years in so far? Um, maybe probably the hardest thing is getting too wrapped up in numbers, like. You start it because you want to have a bit of fun. I always used to sort of say, and probably still say, um, I like creating something and then wrapping it up and putting a bow on it at the end and then putting it out for people to learn or be entertained or just watch. Um, and then you start thinking, oh, I haven't done a video this week. I've got to do another video. And then you start watching numbers and going, oh, nobody watched that video. What have I done wrong? And, and it always, always 
seems to be the way that like you spend a lot of time and effort on something um, that generally it just it doesn't seem to work. And then the things that you just go, oh, I need to put something out quickly. You don't overthink. They end up doing really well. So I think it's just getting in your own head is the hardest part about like staying, keeping the balance and remembering that it's just it's, you're doing it for a bit of fun. Yeah, I understand that completely, and especially when you have a lot going on otherwise. You know what I'm saying? We're still yes. working. We still have family. Um, and so trying to dedicate that time and find that perfect um, find that perfect balance in being able to do uh, video and video and video where you can keep it going is, is probably probably the roughest. What's the easiest? Part of YouTube, man. The easiest. Um, <laughs> I don't think anything's easy about it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Easy. Nothing. Nothing's easy about it. Every, one of the, the thing that's good about it is it's rewarding because, um, you know, you put yourself out there or you're doing something that you're really passionate about and then you get to have like a finished product and, um, you know, all those things take work and time and effort and sometimes like an emotional effort as well like to go oh, do I i'm putting myself on the internet with my face my voice and my opinion um but if you kind of have those nerves and that sort of thing like it means that it means something to you so then to be able to put something out like that i think it's definitely not easy but um maybe it like as an it's a reward that feels really, really good. And then it's easy to enjoy that afterwards, I suppose, and take a breath afterwards and say, I'm happy with that. So what's up? <laughs> Trying to find a way to make something easy. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What do you find easy about YouTube? Hey, man, I'm asking the questions here. <laughs> Wait till I go on your, on your platform. <laughs> um, you know what? I, uh, did, but, I did that and I lost too many subscribers. So I won't do that again. No. <laughs> um, you know what? I guess when you still look at what you're doing it for, that's probably still easy. Like with me, now that I'm back in the school and now that the students are coming back, I can see more now that are, you know, I need to start doing some more type of vids to get it going and and try to help these kids understand a little bit more about this thing so they can jump into the uh into the hobby so i think that 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 easiness of reason why i kind of jumped into it even though i wanted to you know kind of showcase a little stuff but i really just kind of did it one off a of dare from a student and now that i'm here now i want to help the students so the my why is the easiest part yeah, fair enough. And, yeah. and that's a good that's a good thing too. Like you gotta remind yourself why you do it and then you go, all right, keeps it basic, keeps it easy. Maddie D and DD's finned in. All right, so how long you been keeping fish? Let's get it. Uh so like twenty eight years on and off. Okay. So okay. a long time. So I've had probably like three really serious like um, goes over those years for maybe two or three years at a time. So the the fish room, the fish in here and and in the house are uh, God. Yeah, be two, maybe three years this time around again. Okay. It's one of those things like when you move and then you gotta shut down tanks and like if you're not really on top of it and you're not um, you're not putting all your love into the tank and then you're not um, getting anything back from it. It's very easy for it to just become a, a chore. Um, and then when we've moved, I've just gone, well, why would I set that up again? I wasn't paying enough attention to it before. So that that's probably why I stopped at times. It wasn't, um, I never shut down a tank and gave away fish um, unless I, we were moving or something like that. So, Yeah. I think the king of DIY, like a few years ago, I was probably watching maybe four years ago, five years ago, I was watching a lot of 
King of DIY, a lot of Solid Gold Aquatics and Rachel O'Leary. And um, I just find myself getting up and, you know, waking up on the weekend and like staying in bed for a bit and just watching some YouTube on my phone. And then I'd do chores around the house and I'd follow these guys and what they were doing. And I was like, and it's really good sort of living vicariously through them. And then I went, why, why don't I do that? <laughs> and um, I think I had one or two tanks at the time then. And then it's just, just grown and they're oh, They've changed, except Rachel. Rachel hasn't changed, <laughs> but they've changed over the years. Um, so yeah, yeah. That 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 is a long time to be keeping fish, and um, for you not to have you know shut anything down and continue that going, it it, it really speaks to you know the character of you continuing to want to be in the hobby and prosper so that's that's always good um bread so there's oh. a couple so the time before like maybe 10 or 15 years ago um i just kept africans mm -hmm. and that was that found that sort of easier and i kept them for a long time um and enjoyed that a lot but then it was yeah th that was when i had to move and um that's I've been reluctant to keep Africans again because I've done that. So I reckon I would do it again in the future, but um, it's funny how now I'm more into aquascaping. So I'm learning so many things that I never even looked at or even knew existed really, I suppose before. Um, and yeah, the Africans don't appeal to me as much as they used to. It's funny. You just, it's the same hobby, but it's so different today to what it was last time I kept fish. He wields a fishnet <laughs> called Wanda the Destroyer. <laughs> Fish Tropics, an animal. Get some tang, says Aqua Funk. 503 Aquatics with the Super Sticker 299. I appreciate you. 503 Aquatics said that she would like to jump into the hot spot on Monday night. So we are definitely getting that together. And I think that's going to be a go. Is that a go, 503? I think I emailed you back. So. That that should be a fun one too. Don't let five oh three give you a five oh four error. <laughs> that, was a, that was a bad joke. <laughs> uh, so in twenty eight years, you bred any fish, and that's a yes confirmation. Ah, uh, yes, and for, uh, get some tangs. I'm thinking because I've got this over here. He's talking about yellow tangs and blue tangs, but I think he means Tanganyikans. And yes, I would like to try that funk. I was always told Tanganyikans and saltwater are very similar. They're a little bit trickier than some other fish. And I just jumped over the Tanganyikans and went straight to saltwater. So not not yet, but I reckon I'll try it one day. Um, breeding breeding's a strong word. Fish in my tanks have had babies, okay. <laughs> uh, but have never like had heaps of success breeding specific fish. Um, and then trying to, you know, on sell them or give them to stores or, or whatever. So just the basics, like the guppies, um, crabenzis, electric blues, sort of, what else? Sword tails. God, I haven't seen sword tails for a while. Does anyone keep sword tails? Um, <laughs> people do. And I've got some mollies here that, according to last Saturday night, they had a very good time, apparently. So I might have... Might have some mollies soon as well. <laughs> so nothing bred for, you know, selling purposes or just bread to just do it. Just if it happens in your tank, it's happened. Especially I'm probably what you keep in African cichlids happens all the time. Yeah, that's right. Um, the Crebenzis, I suppose I had a bit of a go at, like, cause I, they're such good parents. They're fascinating to watch. And then, um, Sometimes they just get hungry. So I've moved the babies out, given them their own tank, grown them up. And yeah, like I had a bunch, I gave some to Blake, um, gave some to two or three other people, local people. And I kept the babies and I just went, you know what, I'm not going to pair them off or they will breed. So I just sort of kept them all together in a big tank. And unfortunately, they're some of the fish that I lost in the recent floods. So 
I don't have them anymore and I love Crebenzis. The only problem is you'll end up with a lot of Crebenzis or they will eat some of your other fish. So you've got to be committed if you get them. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Um, so in, I want to say you went, I want to say you went somewhere on a, on a fish collecting trip. Did you go to Malawi? You went no, or did I, you go to a, 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 some body of water like maybe a year ago? vacation somewhere not fish collecting no uh the closest thing i've done was um a few weeks ago me and harry went looking for um ghost shrimp at a local river near here but no i haven't i haven't been anywhere there far north or not far queensland i think southeast queensland and far north queensland would be really good spots in australia to do that sort of thing um there's a group called angfa but i which is Australian New Guinea Fish Association, I think it is. Um, they do some trips like once a year, I think. Um, and I've, I've always been meaning I need to like sign up to them and get involved with it. But it's that thing again of juggling life and <laughs> and everything. But uh, yeah, I'd love to do it, but I just haven't haven't been able to. I'd love to go to Malawi. Yeah, one of the guys I know down here, he had ran the aquarium near me until it closed down. Um, he had photos of him swimming in Malawi and with all the cichlids because he's a big African cichlid fan. Very good. Okay. Um. So in twenty eight years, what got you started with uh, with jumping in the hobby? So passed down from generations of parent to parent. Yes, that's, that's exactly how it was. Um, <laughs> it was it was Dad just walking around like he owned the joint, talking about how awesome it was when he kept fish, and and he used to say, "I had tanks of this, I had tanks of that," and I'm thinking water tanks when I was a kid. I'm like, "Why would you have all these water tanks in the backyard just putting fish in them? Like that's stupid." <laughs> But he kept talking about it and talking about it. And I was like, well, enough. When are we getting a fish tank then? So, yeah, we went up and got a like a 40-litre um, tank, so like a 10-gallon tank, and got some white clouds. And I was just hooked. I just – it's really – you remember when, you, when you're little and you do something that you really enjoy and, like, the smell and the feels all come back when you think about it. Like it's that you're that into it. Like it was like this whole other world of keeping fish. It's not like anything I do today. There was even like the noise of an air pump, just <laughs> like that was like oh, got fish. Cause I know what that noise is. Um, right. But yeah, it was really, really cool having them in there. Um, I can't remember how many years I had them for, um, but yeah, that's, that's what got me started. And then I think yeah, a few years later, I ended up getting a four-foot tank and trying to keep discus. Oh, wow. Um, and did not have luck with that at all. Um, and then that's when I got got the Africans. So that was all over like a 10-year period sort of. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. It's a good story. Okay. Um. And funny, funny thing for those that watch my channel, that we got those fish from this fish farm that's down near me. Um, but it's closed down now. Like it's literally this guy's house. You go out into this property, and on the left is his house. You go right and had big concrete ponds for goldfish, and then these sheds full of tropical fish. It was like right now, like it's the sort of thing we see on. Um, hey, Matt. <laughs> uh, it's the sort of thing that we see like on fish room tours and stuff from aquarium co like massive uh fish farm but it's okay. closed down now and i really want to do a um keep fantasizing with this idea of doing like a 15 minute documentary on actually finding out what happened um but anyway so after we got the gold the white clouds we went to this shop in baronia and um got all our fish and everything through there and two weeks ago i've been making videos with that guy because he's now at another aquarium so this guy used to sell me all my first fish and now i'm making videos for for his shop and it's it's kind of funny how it sort of swings around <laughs> dope 
um, starter fish that you can recommend for uh, a classroom of students? Always ask. You always ask, so I've got to come up with a unique answer, don't I? <laughs> starter fish. How old are the kids? 14, 15. Oh. <laughs> and how big's the tank? Well, I have uh, a 40, a 29, 10, and I'm getting a 20 long, and I have a 55. So the only thing stocked right now is the 40 full of my African cichlid fry from my house. I just dumped them all in there. So I suppose like your live bearers is like a really obvious one because you get to see they're, they're really hardy and um, you get to see them, you know, doing all their bits and pieces, like, you know, just the way the male sort of shimmies and stuff to get a female's attention and all that. Sure. It'd be fascinating, but get some clownfish. So that would, <laughs> that would mean I have to go salty. That would mean you would have one salt tank and you could, uh, you would be covering the whole hobby in the room and inspiring the future. The job is, it's your job. It's, you it's, need to inspire the future. This, fish keeping. <laughs> this, is, this, <laughs> this is the face of fish keeping. <laughs> um, no, I, I only kind of say that because I think that generation of kids no Nemo and stuff like that's what they think of when you think of pet fish that's and then to actually have that might be the sort of thing that go I'm really inspired I love that and I reckon that if you had a Nemo in there versus every other tank they're probably yep. going to go straight to that tank aren't they you're probably right so it's a right. little bit left field but look it if is I can do it, anyone can do it <laughs> yeah well I'm telling you you know as a recommended starter fish and posing it for the those age groups a lot of people so were would go for the library stuff yeah but yeah. looking at all the cartoons and the stuff like that most of that stuff is salty so you look at dory and you do look at nemo i didn't think about that i didn't think about that that's probably closely related to their generation so they'll definitely recognize it a lot more even when yeah, i go into a salt down. store i recognize it and be like <gasps> <laughs> the only downfall is, um, I suppose, cost. Because then if they go, I am inspired and I want to set one up, um, you sort of, it's almost like double, or it's a lot easier to get a cheap freshwater setup going. Um, yeah. I think yeah. there was a shop near me and it was like an $830, um, yeah, Majestic Aquariums, uh, $830 saltwater setup, including two Ocellaris or clownfish. Um, I'm big. So I was like, that's tank? not bad. It's a built-in um, back sump and had um, the skimmer and everything all included. I'm like, that's pretty cool. The only thing you haven't really got is coral. But um, mm. that's why if you don't worry about coral and just go with a clown, two clownfish and just mm -hmm. live rock, sand, and a decent light, mm -hmm. um, you can keep the cost down. Yeah, I definitely like the cube that you got going on over there. Yeah, this uh, this whole setup was three hundred bucks for me, and it's got the sump underneath. But because it's all secondhand and from the shop that was closing down, that light's worth three hundred and fifty on its own. So I knew at the time I'm like I'm gonna try salt water. Um, if if I was ever gonna do it, now is the time. I'm, never, I'm not gonna get that opportunity again to pay three hundred bucks and have a full setup and ready to go. Sure. Um, and for those that don't know who I am, I pre I pretty much only keep fresh water. It's just I got this about a year ago, and it's um, it's definitely definitely enjoyed. It is one of my favorite tanks, but I wouldn't say that I would ever go fully salt or anything like that. Yeah, I, I dig that. I dig that. Uh tell us about a big tank disaster. Your biggest like not long ago yeah <laughs> <laughs> for those who haven't seen it it's it's, it's uh it's a harsh yeah. reminder <laughs> so yeah that was matt matt who has popped in and said hello before um they used to be our neighbors and i they live 
like an hour and a half away from here. So they're more more country. We're sort of country, but not enough. Um, and yeah, anyway, we had no power here and they weren't going to get the power back on for up to five days, I think it was. And so staying home for a bit and we're trying to figure out what we could do. And then we also had floods coming at the same time. So we went, let's get out of here. Like we drove out and um, like I had to drive through water that was, I've got a four wheel drive and our tires were under the water. The bottom of the doors were under the water and there's cops just sitting there watching me and this other guy go like, I'm, I'm not good with like four wheel driving or anything like that. Like I'm not into it. I don't, you know, ever take any risk driving that I <laughs> wouldn't, um, you know, that you wouldn't do when you've got kids in the car. But this guy went through and um, I went, all right, I'll just follow him. And the cops just watched us like, are they going to make it? <laughs> anyway, we got out, went, stayed with our friends and then they had a generator. So we're like, all right, tomorrow we're going to take the generator back home because if the fish tanks have been out for this long, um, I might have a couple deaths. <laughs> mm. um, and I was mainly just thinking about the heaters being off because they're all tropical. And then um, we got back and, yeah, I pretty much everything was gone except for, like, this whole tank behind me. Um, now you can see my mess. I specifically moved that so you can see. <laughs> oh, um, sorry. No, no. <laughs> um, this whole tank behind me, everything was gone. So I lost the fish. I lost the, well, pretty much all the coral. And then I lost a whole bunch of like tetras from little aquascapes and stuff. I lost oh, well over 100, maybe 150 endless because I had a little colony going. I lost Grabenzis over here and I, and I had a big sailfin pleco that I lost. That was pretty devastating. Um, Damn. Can't even remember. There was a few other fish in there. Luckily, the fish inside were all good, but I realised it was probably not just the cold. It was it was probably more actually um, the water movement, the oxygen that they, they basically suffocated because there was no water movement. The fish that come up and take a breath every now and then, they were all fine. So like your mollies and your goldfish and and stuff, they were good. And the um, the cory cats. Because, you know, mm. you have you seen glory catfish jump up to the front top of the water and grab a gulp of air and then come back down. So mm. all of those fish survived. All the fish that don't do that sort of stuff like tetras and whatnot, all gone. Man. Yeah. So, it was, yeah, well over 100 fish. So it yes. sparked a fair few people to start talking about um, generators and what's your backup plan for, you know, if your fish tank room or fish room or fish tank goes down um and one of the guys that i work sort of closely with um boaz at studio h2o one of the shops down here he's selling all these battery um usb backup pump things for your tanks so like i'm gonna grab a couple of those off him and it would just be the sort of thing where if that happens again you can just pop it in and just run it off a um backup usb yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty cool. Is that light a Kessel light behind you on that on that on the cube? Yeah, that's that's it. That's a Kessel. Kessel one hundred and sixty tuna, blue. Super super expensive. One hundred and sixty. Yeah, well, that was what I was saying. Like that's three hundred and fifty bucks that light, mm -hmm. but I got the whole setup for three hundred bucks. I definitely definitely would buy another Kessel. I know some people aren't fans, and I really really want to get a Kessel for the freshwater tank as well um it's just the shimmer like, yeah 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 i've seen them in action lit off that tank the whole the whole room just like lights up with the shimmer and you just, it looks fantastic it looks natural that's dope yeah 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 that's good that's good uh what's your biggest rookie mistake does that fall in suit with the tank disaster yeah or did you have having backup Okay. Yeah. Rookie mistake. Oh, shh. <laughs> Almost swore then. Lots. I've made lots and lots and lots of rookie mistakes. This <laughs> hobby, this if you if you haven't made a rookie mistake in this hobby, you're a liar. Um, it kicks you in the ass all the time. So 
I'd, I'd let me just tell you about the latest rookie mistake, which um, I'm really happy with. I can see her down there. So I've got a Mandarin dragonette in there. Okay. Do you know what they are? Uh, I know what a Mandarin fish is. Does it look like that? Yeah, it's like they're one of the most stunning fish you'll ever see. Super beautiful. Um, and I was doing a little bit. I just saw her at this um, shop. And, um, again, the, those same neighbors, they actually gave me a voucher for this shop when um, everything went south. They felt bad, so they gave me a voucher, which I ended up using to get her. But, yeah, I did a bit of research while I was there, and I'm like – peaceful small coral friendly this this is perfect like perfect fit for my tank so got her brought her home really happy and then did a little bit more research and it's like oh only eats live food too <laughs> um i can't even remember what they're called <laughs> did you steal that from gain stop like the whole thing just ran right into it and took it huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, they only eat live copepods, and I was like, "Wow, nobody sells live copepods here. Like, you can get them if you try hard enough." But live what? Copepods. So basically, live tiny invertebrates. So they pick them off the rocks all day in the wild. Okay. And apparently, okay. in America, there you have like a lot of problems with it. Like, you have to be getting your own copepods and trying to build up like a community of. Um, copepods but in australia from what i've been learning they just need to eat a lot of frozen foods and then they're, they're tank reared and they um <laughs> hey jess yes <laughs> and, it takes um, aquamate to get you on the stream jess shrimp granny we were so i thought we were i thought we were good i thought we were cool she used to <laughs> love me and she and then she hated me for like eight months <laughs> i haven't seen her Jess, <laughs> Jess shows me a lot of support. She's one of the members of the channel, so she's That's awesome. awesome. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I bought a fish without doing the research properly, but it has been four or five weeks, and she seems to be okay. But I was honestly was just waiting to see if she was struggling, and then I'd have to take her back. But um, yeah, she does, she kind of comes out during the day when the lights off, so I don't um I don't the uh, mandarin the mandarin uh, fish, yeah. And the doctor's office has a salt set up and has a mandarin in there. Every time I go looking for it, it's it's unbelievable that that fit, the fish just mesmerizes you. The colors on it, it's crazy. Oh, it's fantastic! And um, oh, I say she, it's a she because she doesn't have. It's not a dorsal fin. It's like another fin. I think that sits in front of the dorsal fin. On mm -hmm. the males, a lot bigger. On the females, smaller. But still, she's so colorful. Like. Um, and yeah, I hopefully everything continues to go well with it and I'll make a video about it one day and about how I made that mistake of buying something that I really wasn't ready for, but sure, I think more good now. Um, yeah. can you imagine being a first year or first, you know, real beginner buying something like that and then going, what, why won't it eat the flakes? What am I going to do? Oh, there it's gone. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, very good. Hey, Nathan. Um, <laughs> I understand, Jess Shrimp. Nothing but love for you. Uh, first tank size you ever had? 10 gallon. Were you listening before? Hmm? <laughs> Not listening now. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Are what you, you said? First? I already said it earlier. So it's the 10 gallon white cloud tank. Let's say it again, fool. <laughs> Are you tired? I'm the one that should be tired. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, what would you say to your 25-year-old self? Yeah, I didn't ask that. Um, Chewy. Don't rush into getting married and having kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean fish keeping? <laughs> It's <laughs> probably sound advice. <laughs> um, if if you're talking fish keeping or for my journey, it would be to start the YouTube channel then, because uh, <laughs> get in before it got big. Um, yeah, I, I think I, 
for me, the, the YouTube and fish thing goes so hand in hand because I feel creative trying to do a new aquascape or making sure that um, like making a Wabi Kusa and making sure that the fish are all really happy and then making a video about it and stuff. It's like really scratches that creative itch. So they go really well together. Um, so when I say that, I don't mean like if I did a YouTube channel back then, it'd be huge. Mm -hmm. I mean that like, you know, I enjoy it and I think I would have enjoyed it a lot more then. I was a bit, a little bit lighter back then too. And a little sure. bit, <laughs> we're all better looking when we're younger. <laughs> uh, that pay, that PlayStation Four set up back there. Did you did you take that from GameStop in the late night burglary? Uh... <laughs> what are you? A cop? <laughs> no officer, I swear. <laughs> um, Am I? <laughs> I'm trying to get you jammed up. I. I got you on a wire. <laughs> How many games you got to play to win that from GameStop? <laughs> it's the whole setup. They got the plastic around and everything. That's crazy. That's metal, dude. Metal. Is that metal in there? Yeah. What's on? What's on top of the PS4? That, yeah. That's a PS4. That's, that's just a lot. So there's the PlayStation. Oh, that's crazy. And then, yeah. You didn't build that. That's not a DIY. I don't remember seeing that video. No, no, that's me. <laughs> um, I, so I worked at a, an electronics shop and I managed the shop for a while and then they went under. So we had to get rid of everything. Under your and management, they went under? Just a horrible, no, horrible. I managed the shop. There was about <laughs> I walked right into that, didn't I? Head head office stuff that they went under. Um so I had to stay there until the end of everything and then waited because Sony were meant to come and pick that up. Okay. And they just never came. I waited until the very, very end, and then um there was about there was that and like a Bluetooth speaker and two or three other small things. Um, mm -hmm. So I just, at the end of the day, went, all right, well, they're not coming to get it. So then I sold it to myself for 40 bucks so that I had a receipt. So that if anyone said you stole it, I'm like, no, you what you said, get rid of everything and sell what you can. I sold it. <laughs> uh, and I actually didn't turn it on for like a year because I thought Sony were going to find me when I played it in. <laughs> <laughs> they're just on their computers it's like as soon as we see that red blip we're gonna go get it we're yeah, gonna go because <laughs> it was really cool like it doesn't do it now but um you know when you go into like gamestop or whatever you call it over there and <clears throat> then you um like you go up to the playstation kiosk like this or whatever and it's just running like demos so it's showing all this stuff and then you can play like two games or or whatever as a demo Mm -hmm. that was doing that as well. And then what Sony do is that they just send out an update to all the, the shops, like as in over the internet, and then they download the newest one. I was like, this is going to be sick. I'm going to get all the new updates. So every time there's a new game that comes out, like my console will be relevant. Um, but then I was like, I'm not updating it because if I update it, they'll be like, oh, this isn't in a Dick Smith store anymore. <laughs> <laughs> So I took out the PlayStation and um, and put my actual PlayStation in there so I can play any games I want and stuff like. We're in the garage, so usually like um, neighbours and stuff will come over and we'll have a couple beverages and watch the football. Okay. Um, and, yeah, we can play video games against each other or the kids can play video games while, although they get noisy, so then I'll just kick them out anyway. <laughs> but, yeah. It's definitely very cool. It's, I've been offered thousands and thousands of dollars for it, and I just you, you'll never get a chance to get one again. So um, I'm just going to hold on to it. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> Although I have once or twice thought I could sell that and get like a probably a three foot or a four foot ADA setup with light and everything, cabinet, just have 
a proper aquascaping setup, like everything. Um, oh, and man. I'm like, oh, it's tempting, but I can never buy that again. All right. We'll say hi to everybody in the chat. I'll be right back. Hi to everybody in the chat. He'll be right back. <laughs> Jess, it is good to see you. PB Aquatics, how are you? PB, so you're still driving? Why is everyone laughing? There's lots of laughing happening. Matt's still here. Shouldn't you be working, Matt? <laughs> Quick, Matt, you've got 10 minutes to go out and party. <laughs> um, Lady Diane, how are you? Lunatic Fringe. Nathan, how you going? Fish Tropic, how are you? Been a while. Funk, hope you're well, dude. Um, what are we going to? <laughs> I don't I don't want to talk about COVID, but uh, just in case anyone's wondering, what's it like over in Australia? We're all locked down and can't have can't do anything, unfortunately, for a, a oh, weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks on end. We just spent I think we're up to 203 days in lockdown. Not consecutive, but um, yeah, so it's been kind of crappy. And they've just locked um, rural down again because there's one case two or three hours away. The whole state had to go into lockdown. It's just crazy. Oh, I was wondering what the hell you were talking about. You just turned my channel to CNN. I did. <laughs> Uh, if he's referring to myself and Pleco, I found it belly eaten out, I think, because I had the lights off for too long and the cichlids turned on them. No. That's why I, I, that. I just lost the self in, in that flood as well. One of my favorite fish. And I don't, I'm not really a Pleco person, but I really like him. Man, I really like mine. I'm really not, you know, I went to Corey's after that. So, yeah, yeah. So, Alan, how you doing? <laughs> so, uh, I guess, I guess, you know, it's that it's that time of the evening where I've you been know, waiting for this time the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> we we had to get all the preliminary stuff out the way. Yeah, it's a uh, for everybody, everybody that gave it. super stickers, super chats, super everything, I just want to say that I appreciate you. And uh, it's very welcome. All donations go to the classroom. You guys are super yourselves. I appreciate you all. And now let's get back to the hot spot before I'm not able to monetize this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, look, just, you just lost all the super chats then. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. And everybody knows what time it is. It's in the busy fish chat. It's that time to get it in. Who got the t-shirts? That's right, baby. Aquamate is here. And it is time for him to hop into this hot spot. He's been waiting with bated breath. He's watched every last hotspot that's been on the channel, and you should too. Go check out my playlist. I soon will have a hotspot only best of the hotspot coming out shortly. But let's do it. Fishy Biz and Aquamate, it's going to be a crazy one. And there's a lot of live streams on Friday night because I'm not supposed to be here. But this is going to be your favorite one. And. <laughs> I'm not going to play with him. Let's get into his faves. Aquamate, these are just your faves, your faves only. You can't ask anybody, can't phone a friend. There is no 50-50. Don't ask me my same questions back. This is for you and only you and nobody else but you. Your favorite fish. Oh, we're starting on <laughs> favorite <laughs> fish. Uh, Rummy knows Tetras. Rummy knows Tetras. All right. Give me two friends that are two fish that are friends. Two fish that are friends. Oh. Uh, can I can I say the clownfish and the anemone? Not really. One's not a fish, but it is a living animal. It is. It is, and they yeah, are. They, they have a animals. mutualistic relationship. You, they do. You've been you've been studying your biology book. I understand. I got. <laughs> 
Give me two fish that are enemies. Symbiotic relationship. Sorry. Symbiotic is correct. <laughs> it's, but it's a mutualism of the symbiotic relationship. <laughs> you keep, 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 keep effing with me. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to teach this stuff next week. <laughs> uh, two fish that are enemies. Ooh. Um, a married pair of Crebenzas. <laughs> Those are enemies. Well, they go. They try and kill each other for a little while there, and then they get over it. It's really weird because one parent usually just ends up looking after the babies because they just want to kill the other other parents. So, a bit of a different answer for you. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Favorite bottom feeder. Well, I have to say the sailfin pleco because, yeah, I miss him. And that or pygmy quarries or auto sinkless. <laughs> what was your – you only give it one. You're just as bad as Warrior Planet Tank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking around the room going, oh, but they're cool, but they're cool. <laughs> they cost a lot of money <laughs> to be impulsive like me. Right. Uh, just, just, just go to Sailfin. Sailfin, all right. Favorite filtration? <sighs> Hang on back, which is probably a weird one, isn't it? Is that it? HOBs? Yep. All right. Yeah. Favorite substrate? Uh, <laughs> fluval stratum. Okay. A fluval watching? <laughs> I hope oh, I wish they give you a ring. <laughs> All right. Your first tank size was a 10 gallon, but what's your favorite tank size? Oh, I reckon I reckon a 55. Do you reckon? I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> you said 55? Yeah. Okay. All right. So four foot, not tall, not wide. I think it's just it can easily stand out in any room and it can easily fit in pretty much any room. It's true. It's and true. gives you a lot of, you can, you can do anything with it. You're not really restricted. Um, yeah. Unless you want obviously big fish, but aquascaping breeding, you're not restricted. I think I've fallen in love with my 60 gallon. I just think it's an awesome display tank size. Yeah. at 60. A little, little taller and then just a little hair deeper. Yeah. 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 Uh, enough about that. What's your favorite soft drink? Dr. Pepper, which you can't buy down here, really. Oh, you've got you to got go Mr. to like Pepper. lolly shops or international food places. We have a shop here that is just an American supermarket. Really? Yeah. That probably is, shop. Does it do? Does it do well? Yeah. Okay. All right. Because it's it's you get all the foods. All the candy and stuff that you guys have that you can't buy over here are the soft drinks. Um, is it American owned and ran? I think they lived in America for a while, but I think they're Aussies. I can't remember. Mm. That but yeah, good. it's. I go there. Well, I could come down there and... with all my St. Louis stuff and corner the market. Yeah, definitely. Mm. That's interesting. Got to find some. <laughs> Some Emo's pizzas on wholesale and get them on down there. St. Louis has some amazing food hotspots, don't they? They really do. Or don't you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they really do. <laughs> yeah, What's your favorite do dessert? <sighs> I don't eat dessert. Got really? Bigger. I, I have lots of allergies. So I don't <laughs> eat. The only thing I could eat is jelly, but I don't eat it. <laughs> Is jelly? Yeah. You don't like cakes and pies or I can't have something them. weird that you guys eat down, like a turnip snatch um, sandwich or I something? Don't, I don't mind jam tarts. I don't know if you have them. A who? Jam tarts. We got pop tarts. <laughs> it's like a <laughs> it's like a pastry Thanks, and they just fill the middle with jam. You get like oh, a lemon okay. tart or a custard tart or a jam yeah, tart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we got Boston cream donuts. We got you know lemon filled donuts, something like that. Like a yeah, I got you. I got sort you. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, fav 
favorite breakfast food? <clears throat> a pie. No. Um, favorite <laughs> breakfast food? A good toasted sandwich, I reckon. <clears throat> like you're reckoning tea, ham, cheese, tomato, and onion toasty. Ham, cheese, tomato, and onion for breakfast. Yeah. And I, then you I go to do. you go to work with that stank on you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't eat breakfast, but if I'm on holidays, um yeah, going away. I'm always like, I'm gonna get a toasty for Brecky. Okay. Going away on because holiday. if you go out for breakfast, I get the big breakfast with like okay. sausages, hash browns. Yeah, there you go. Things. Um but that adds up. It gets very expensive to do that every morning. So it's a bit okay. easier to grab a toasty. And I'm allergic to eggs. So lots oh, wow. of breakfast things. I don't mm -hmm. eat cereal and I can't eat eggs. So really, I'm not going to say porridge is my favorite thing. <laughs> right. I, and Matt's yeah. right. So if, if I'm feeling a little bit worse for wear, a quarter pound is good for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> quarter pound uh, would be good right now. <laughs> What's a good fast food joint y'all got down there? Uh, there's this one called McDonald's that's pretty good. Oh, my God. They're everywhere. No, right? Do you guys have Guzman Y. Gomez? That is way too long of a name for us to have it here. What the hell? Does that fit on one building? What is it called? <laughs> so just. Um... Guzzy, Guzzler. Who? Well, Guzman and Gomez, the Mexican. No, but it, it, it sounds authentic. Um, yeah, these it's yeah, it's it's from America or Mexico, I can't remember which one, but yeah, they do like burritos and stuff, which is pretty good. Um, there's yeah. one called Nando's. Do you have Nando's over there? No, 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 Nando's no, no, Nando's. Sports. We got Taco Sports. Bell. We got Jack in the Box that makes tacos. <laughs> Nando's is uh, Portuguese chicken. Portuguese so, chicken? Portuguese, it's amazing. Like, pretty good. Like, it's not like restaurant quality, but it's like pretty good takeaway. Um, yeah, this is like Taco Bell, but way better. Okay. Okay. We actually just got Taco Bell. It's funny because I went up to... We went on holidays a little bit. Am I allowed to tell stories in the middle of this hot spot? Or? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Just, just say it over. Well, you're doing it anyway. Um, this, yeah. It's not supposed to be we, a 10-minute spot. We're supposed to be done in an hour. Oh, go ahead. Whatever. Tell the story. Tell it. <laughs> we went on holidays a little while Jeffrey ago. Watts, we're never inviting this guy back. Um, and we were driving around and there was a Taco Bell there and we don't really have Taco Bell down here. And so Harry was like, oh, can we go to Taco Bell? Because he watches so many YouTubers and they all love their Taco Bell. Everyone goes nuts about Taco Bell. So we're like, all right, we'll try it. So we went and tried it. It didn't matter if it tasted like foot. He was going to say it was good because <laughs> YouTubers love it. Right. Um, and then I found a couple down here and then... I tried this one because I was like, all right, it's the same sort of thing and it's closer to where we live. Uh, and that one, yeah, way better than Taco Bell. So there's like two or three Taco Bells in our state. Yeah. I mean, you can do a Taco Bell here on a late night it's, or, you know, a lunch if you're just really feeding in for a taco. But it's not like the first place you go when you think authentic Mexican taco. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, but... So I, I enjoy that one at the moment, but I just wanted to say one other one. Um, so down here, like KFC, KFC, Hungry Jacks, which is Burger King. I think the two owners split and he came down and he gets to call it Hungry Jacks and they leave each other alone. So the um, Hungry Jacks sells a Whopper? So it actually is a Burger King? Yeah, it is. And, that, and Burger King came down here to compete with them as well, which was really weird for a little while. And then they went out of business, Burger King. Hungry, Hungry Jack up here is a pancake mix. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> um, then there's also KFC. Mm -hmm. So there's those three, but then there's one other, which is Red Rooster. No one knows chicken like the Colonel. 
18, <laughs> 18 herbs and spices and giblets and all the sides that you can muster up. <laughs> I, used to, I used to work at KFC. <laughs> Did you um, really? Yeah. <laughs> that's a question that's coming up later. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I just wanted to say there's a shot, there's a place called uh, Red Rooster, which competes with all of them, but it's an okay. Aussie made Aussie company. It's not a not an American company that's come down here. Um, mm-hmm. And they do like roast chickens and, and stuff like that. Not really, not so much fried, but it's pretty good. That sounds good. Yeah, yeah that sounds good. Yeah. Taco Bell is crappy good. <laughs> yeah, and she's right. Taco Bell is crappy good. Um, <laughs> what is your favorite restaurant to sit down and eat in? Oh, uh, um, I'll, I'll say Ajisen Ramen. So it's a it's a Japanese place down here. It's sort of a chain. There's a bunch of them. Um, mm-hmm. I, where I live, it's like they make all the wine and stuff. So there's so many. Oh, now I'm thinking about fancy stuff compared to standard stuff. I like I, I just in ramen for an easy, just like Japanese food. And then there's sure. a place called Suma up here. I reckon it's amazing. It's like an Italian place that just sits in the middle of all these vineyards. And man, they make you start just pouring your wines before you even get to your seat. Like <laughs> there's. All like all these different wines to try. I don't drink wine, but my wife loves it. Um, mm-hmm. but the food there is fantastic, and just the atmosphere. Atmosphere is a massive one for a restaurant. Very good. Which um, now I'm just getting hungry and thinking of all the places I'm not allowed to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, KFC used to be the stuff here. It's kind of getting fashioned out. I think it's because of all the youngsters that are starting to work there. They have literally shut down the McDonald's that's the closest to my house because the youngsters, they just won't come to work. Like, I'm sitting there waiting, like, dude, what's going on? And it's like one lady in there is like, it's me by myself, but I'll get what you want. Nah, I'm good. I'm out of here. <laughs> shut it down. Burn it to the ground. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite food to cook? Favorite what? Favorite food to cook. Oh, to cook. Um, I'll say stir fries at the moment. Uh, stir fry. Just throw everything in a big wok and just let it sizzle. Huh? Uh, well, sort of. I've been doing like these Thai and Vietnamese and Korean like. So, yeah, meat, pork beef chicken and then veggies on rice but then yeah just use lots of different flavors like gingers and garlics and um and stuff like that go get another (laughs) well go get some uh, tell one of your brothers to get you some ice cream man i'm on a live stream plus you're four go get your own damn ice cream you're practically a man (laughs) <laughs> um where was I? Oh. <laughs> All right, so your favorite wrestler. Uh, probably Steve Austin. <laughs> Stone Cold. Okay. That's that'll tell you how long it's been since I've watched wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. I'm still a rock fan. <clears throat> hey. Uh favorite type of music. I don't know what you call it. Rock and or roll. Rock um, and or roll. <laughs> probably, yeah. Maybe you call it. I really like Machine Gun Kelly at the moment, and um, and I'm really into a song by Pierce the Veil. So pretty. Oh, what are you laughing at? You're an MGK fan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you tell? I like wearing pink. <laughs> oh, my God. I never would have thought it. <laughs> what are you listening to? I don't know. I mean, I'm not to ask that question, am I? That's funny though. Him and his Eminem beef is is, is funny to me. Oh, I don't like his rap. Is garbage. I don't. Like okay, it. all right. Okay, this is stuff he does with um with Travis Barker. Because okay, was a, okay. Be, oh, I am a big Blink fan. I spoke yeah. to Mark Hoppus last sun- Sunday and the weekend before. It was amazing. He's like my idol. <laughs> 
Okay, very nice. Uh, favorite app to use? Favorite app to use? Uh, probably. Yeah, probably YouTube. Okay, all right. We'll let you. Favorite website besides YouTube? <laughs> besides YouTube. Website. Uh, Canva. <laughs> what happened to the side of your face? What happened right here? <laughs> maybe, Jeff, maybe. <laughs> How'd you hurt yourself? Give me this. Go go get another one and go get some. Who's who's upstairs that can get you some ice cream? Yeah. Well, I go ask me to get you my ice cream. I'm keeping this one. You go get you another one. Yeah. Hurry up. <laughs> Steal your son's ice cream. <laughs> yeah, if he brings this back down again, it's a problem, man. It's two times too many. <laughs> I'm busy. Favorite holiday? Um, Plain ice cream. Probably, probably Christmas. Okay. Yeah. So for us, so Christmas is in summer. So that's when we all like get a bit of a break and all get to go away and and stuff. Favorite celebrity crush? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> um I don't even know how to say her name properly. Um, just Scarlett Johansson used to always have a big thing for her, but I don't okay. really anymore. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Matt wants to know, was that just a plain cone that you ate? No, that was cream. it, man. That was it. He, <laughs> he came down here and with the, with the, with the bag of cones, so I open it and then he runs back up. Then he comes down with just the cone and he was like, Ice cream on the inside, and I'm like, dude, it's like eight people upstairs, man. Go have one of them put it in there. So he runs upstairs and he comes back down with the same ice cream cone empty. I'm like, bro, what? He's like, so I ask him, I'm like, who who could be up there and put ice cream in there? And he's like, DJ, well, go go and give me this ice cream home because you're not bringing this one back. No, no. <laughs> You should have a TV show called Keeping Up with the Clocks. <laughs> hey, can somebody give him some ice cream? Dude, if I come up there, it's going to be a whole problem, G. <laughs> man, they're boys, man. They should be doing these. They should do these things. Like I shouldn't have to. Favorite car? Mine. <laughs> not, not others. Um, maybe a Hilux. I'd like a Hilux one day. A who? A Hilux. I don't know if you. You, you have no good answers, dude. Like, what? Are, what are these things that you're talking about? It's a <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a Toyota. <laughs> Your favorite car is a Toyota. A Toyota, I what? Like, I don't like expensive cars. Oh my just, god! I, the difference you between a, to me. <laughs> the difference between like a twenty thousand dollar car and a million dollar car, I'm like, I can't see, I can't see the value in that. Oh my god! So I'm a pretty basic, simple person. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna suck as a millionaire, man. Once this YouTube <laughs> takes off, man. No, I'm, I'm buying like Toyotas. <laughs> <laughs> why do you why do you need a garage for 18 cars like because i said spend a million on cars and i just keep getting toyotas <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, god and hiluxes are not cheap <laughs> all right uh and a hilux is a four by four pickup truck 
aka yeah. a UTE. Okay, all right, got it. Let's get through the rest of these. Favorite sport? <laughs> uh, I, AFL, Aussie football. Aussie football. And favorite position? You allowed to ask that? <laughs> um, <laughs> Jeez. Who's writing these questions? <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you can't. You can't you can't start thinking sexy and want to drive a Hilux and and eat at Gomez's and 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 and, and, and Cadera's or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, position. Well, I used to play as a rover, so I'll say a rover. Man, what the fuck? What what position is that? <laughs> what are we talking about? You're talking about sport, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He said football, Sorry. didn't you? <laughs> Sorry, the one you the only one you probably understand because you probably were there a, a lot growing up is it's bench. But no, <laughs> a, rover, <laughs> a rover is like Are you gonna take cracks at me? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. All right, rover. <laughs> I'm not uh, talking about soccer. So, uh, he said Aussie football. Is Aussie football soccer? No. I it is, what, is. What is it, rugby? No. What the hell is a rover? A rover is like a center. So they're in the middle. You get the ball a lot. Okay. Not kicking goals and not stopping goals. They're like running up the ground with the ball. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> like running back. Now, Jess, look it up. Australian Football League. Oh, my God. And honestly, anyone who hasn't seen it, look it up on YouTube after this and watch. It's like a three or four minute clip on there. It'll blow your mind. <sighs> Thank you, Blake, for the civilized answer. It's its own thing. It's like NFL, but no pads and using feet more than hands. Uh-huh. It's not really. It's a super cool like sport. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a good one. Favorite shoe ever. Let's listen. Favorite shoe ever. I had some Adios ones that I would not friggin' ever give up. So some, maybe then. Some, some what? Adios. Adidas? A no, Adi not Adidas. Or Adidas. No. Wait, what? What are you spelling? What are these words? Are these words? What is going on? <laughs> oh my god! Can't even see you. <laughs> Do you have them on? Oh my god! Are those vans? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the leg show. <laughs> no worries. There's plenty more where that came from. Oh, after party. Yuck. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, what is your favorite emoji? Uh, this is universal, so this should be. This should be. Go ahead. What is it? Probably the two bees going together. The who? Dude. The two bees going together. Oh, the drinks? Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh my god. Oh lord. <laughs> what is your <laughs> what is your this is what is your favorite game console? A gang console? Game. Game. Ga <laughs> like I see you got PS4 back there, but is that it or is do you have a favorite other? Um, probably, probably Nintendo 64 like blew my mind when it came out, and it's still pretty revolutionary. Okay, all right, it's a great yeah. answer. Good answer. Good answer. I've, I've got one down there. <laughs> Does it still work? Yeah, That's I've got, cool. I've got pretty much every Nintendo and Sega and PlayStation all, all in working condition. Yeah, I collected them for a while before I was keeping fish this time around, and um, just got them all in storage now. 
I could probably sell all them and get something. It's a cool fish tank. Yeah, that's the one, Matt. That's the one. Not that one, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle's 16 year old son just bought. Is it this because is he saw my video and he's like, I want those shoes or no? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Vans just, they're just chilled. They're, I like them. <clears throat> um, favorite movie? Uh, <laughs> probably Scarface. I've seen that movie more than any other movie. It's a great one by a long shot. And that and oh, that and Bowling for Columbine, I've watched a million times each. Gotcha. Cool. Uh, favorite school subject? Uh, recess. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Your favorite movie is Scarface. Your favorite subject is Reset, but you want to buy a Toyota. <laughs> Your favorite shoe is Vans. You're a horrible millionaire. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, what's your most watched fish tuber? I know you've said a couple, but what's your most watched fish tuber? Oh, most watched. See, you, like you phrase these as like all time, so it makes me th think too much. Um, I don't know. It'd probably, probably be a mix between Coral Fish 12G and Rio Watanabe. Like, watch those two a lot at the moment, so I'm just going to go with them. <laughs> Coral Fish 12G is has an awesome channel, yeah, and he's really cool in person. He does the aqua shellers. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so you yeah. met him and caught up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I met yeah. him the first time I went to the Chicago aqua shella. He didn't really know me, but he took the time, stopped and talked to me, even though he was busy trying to get shella stuff together. He's really cool. Really yeah. cool. No, that's cool. Well, favorite seafood. Um, you? crab. I'm allergic to fish. <laughs> Are you? What the? What, the <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> this can't be happening. It's happening. Oh my god! You're allergic to eggs. And seafood, and you keep fish and oh, dairy, my. and dairy too. Yeah. Your body is trash. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my wife says. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's all. That's amazing. Oh. All right, <laughs> favorite pizza topping. Just one topping or what type <laughs> of pizza? You know, it's what? What like one topping or type of pizza? Your favorite toppings for pizza. <clears throat> um, all right, so my favorite is a capriciosa, but add capsicum and garlic and chili. No, that is not your favorite <laughs> topping for pizza. I don't know it's what the hell you just said, man. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Garlic with what? I can just... So capriciosa is like um, ham, cheese, mushrooms, and then add some capsicum, some peppers, and then... um. Wait, wait. I get peppers. I got ham, cheese, and mushroom. What was the... Some capers? Is that what you're trying to say? No. no I was... <laughs> Capsicum. Cap secum. That sounds like something you put in your fish tank. I think you call them peppers. Banana peppers? Sports They're usually peppers? usually green or red. Okay. All right. I got you. And you can get yellow ones too. And you guys call them what? 
bell peppers. Maybe is that what you call them? Okay, bell peppers. Yes. We okay. call them capsicums. Why? It's probably what they're really called, and you guys are probably <laughs> <the finger form. laughs> Because that's what they're really called, you American <laughs> idiots. <laughs> I'm gonna look this up now. Oh my god! Capsicum. Oh my god! Bell peppers and capsicums the same. Capsicums are also known as bell peppers in America, or just peppers in the UK. So they are actually called capsicums. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. All right. S score one for the Aussies. Although, I although that doesn't make eating... sense because it's native to the Americas. So, or maybe that's its scientific name anyway. Is capsicum? I don't know. But look, somehow you made it to the next round. I don't know how this happened. <laughs> <laughs> is that the longest ever? <laughs> Man, that last round sucked. It was just the first round. <laughs> Is this going to be a part two? We're doing this again next week? <laughs> no one's coming back. This is it. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I love it. All right. Welcome to the Inferno round. Yada, yada, yada. It's either this or either that. Ready? <laughs> Here we go. Breakfast for dinner or dinner for dinner? Dinner. Okay. Weekday or weekends? Weekends. YouTube or TikTok? YouTube, YouTube. shorts or TikTok? YouTube shorts? YouTube shorts. Okay. Yeah. Um, bath or shower? Shower. Uh, hot or cold? Hot. Short or tall? Short. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> Goldfish or better? Better. Better or guppy? Better. Better or killy? Better. Oh, shit. Okay. All about that better, huh? <laughs> I've only got one. <laughs> <laughs> Arapaima or alligator gar? Uh, I can't even, what's an arapaima? I can't even picture one. Alligator gar. Okay. All right. Arapaima is the largest freshwater fish in the world. But. I need it. Yeah, I've, got, I've gone blank. I just can't picture it. Yeah. Uh, there he is. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah, that, that beats an alligator gar for sure. <laughs> Priscilla. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mammal or reptile? Mammal. Uh, Starburst or Skittles? Uh, Skittles. Skittles or Laffy Taffy? <laughs> Whatever the hell that is, I'll go Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> Skittles or Veggie, Mike? <laughs> Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> M&M's or Reese's I can't I'm allergic to chocolate and peanuts what so. the what? no you're not stop Just shut this. it down. Shut stop it, down. it stop 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 you cannot be allergic to this much stuff go away <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm allergic to you yelling at me as well. <laughs> 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 I broke my camera. I can't fix it. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> oh my god! Oh. This is this is unreal. I can't wait to watch this again. I can't believe this. <laughs>
Reese's. <laughs> no M&M's or Reese's. No chocolate or vanilla because of your dairy issues. Great movie or great show? Uh, great show. Okay. Tacos or burgers? Burgers. Uh, bacon or... I don't get tacos. I get burrito over a taco every day. You'll do burrito over a taco. All right. What about burrito or burger? <sighs> Probably Vegas still. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, bacon or sausage? How is he still living? <laughs> <laughs> um, probably sausage. Has to be a good sausage, though. Okay. Pig or cow? Cow. Cow or roux? You just froze on me then. I didn't hear anything. Oh, cow or roux? <laughs> we're, we're talking food, yeah? Cow. <laughs> Do they make roux burgers down there? Yeah, that's actually a thing, a roux burger. Are you serious? How does it yeah. taste? I've never had one. I've, what have I had? Oh, I think I had a kangaroo steak. Not a fan. It's not good. Mm. Sort of... Gamey, it's like um, it's like a cross between steak and venison, maybe. Mm, okay, okay. Although like a, a taste, a like a taste, like like a turducken. Turducken. <laughs> yeah. You never I had turducken? No, that's stuffed inside. Of, what is it? You cut open a turkey. Yeah. You cut open a duck, and you cut open a chicken, and you put them together, and you cook them up yeah that's right charlton heston is a charlton heston heston blumenthal <laughs> did that didn't he i don't know i don't know who that is i he's don't like know a, he's a real experimental fancy sort of um chef i don't know i don't know anything that you talk about i, I thought i knew you but i clearly don't I, we're, we're worlds apart <laughs> i'm worried about you man <laughs> You're worried about me. Is that the Niners behind me? Yeah. Try Lance. Woo. <laughs> you guys are going to make it out of your division. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Mornings or nights? Nights. Disney World or Universal Studios? Uh, I'll say Universal Studios. boy. Hot coffee or iced coffee? You're allergic to. Don't tell me. I'll, I'll <laughs> shut this. I'll that. shut this shit down, <laughs> uh, dude. I'm trying to look. Hey, everybody, great. Thank you. It was, it was a lovely evening, Aquamades. <laughs> he, he can't do anything. He can't chew gum or roller skate. <laughs> can't spell words he's <laughs> he's allergic <laughs> <laughs> all right jess shrimp granny how about we'll try that hot tea or iced tea uh hot tea there we go all right thank you way to think on your toes shrimp granny your wheels <laughs> may be clicking all right no milk <laughs> <laughs> Beach sand or mountain tops? Beach. Okay. A little late or super early? With my wife, always late. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame her. <laughs> She's nothing to do with this. She probably would have given me some great answers. <laughs> Does she eat ice cream? Yeah, she can, yeah. Does she drink coffee? No. Nope. She can, though, but she doesn't. Gotcha. Um, we, we're those people that people come over and like, oh, would you like a cup of... Oh, actually, we don't have any of that. <laughs> All right. Um, introvert or extrovert? Extra, I would say. Okay. Um, brains or body? <laughs> People are laughing at me. Um, 
Well, the brains or body? Um, body. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> boobs or butt? What did you just say? <laughs> no. <laughs> God. Boobs or butt? You just sound like you're saying boobs with a P. Boobs or butt? Um, yes, both, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, in a perfect world, yes. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> um fish sticks or chicken nuggets? Have to be chicken nuggets. Okay. Uh fries or tater tots? Holy thirsty rabbit. There Hello. he is, Thirsty. Good to see you, dude. You too. I was talking to Bunk the other day, and he's like, have you heard from Thirsty? I'm like, no, and I don't have a way to get in touch with him. Hope you're well, man. <clears throat> um, what was the question, sorry? Fries or tater tots? Fries. Uh, what a tater tot? We don't really do them down here. You don't do tater tots? Are they are they like potato gems? Yes, they're potato gems. What the? F what are y'all speaking down there? What is going on? What is going on? What is a potato gem? Is it is it like a little <laughs> piece of potato? Because that is what a tot is. It's a tot. <laughs> <laughs> What's a tot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sh> shucks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Do you prefer the potato gems over the french fries? No. Still not. Okay. Fries. Still french fries. <laughs> <laughs> Buffy the Vampire Slayer or Blade the Vampire Slayer? Buffy. Buffy the Vampire Slayer or. S Selena from Underworld, the Vampire Slayer. Um, still Buffy. Okay. Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter? Probably Street Fighter. At a boy. That's what I'm talking about. Ken or Ryu? Ryu. Nice. <laughs> nice. Mario or Luigi? Mario. Dogs or cats? You should change that one to Mario or Sonic. <laughs> Wait, say Just it again. Right stuff. Mario or Sonic would be a good one. Well, not too bad. A Sonic or Tails? Oh, crap. Or Sonic or Knuckles? Um, I was actually more of a Tails. I was a Tails fan. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you freaking fly around and then yep. you have less chance of dying when you fall. <laughs> yeah. Uh, dogs or cats? Dogs. Lois Lane or Mary Jane? Mary Jane. That's Spider Man's chick. Um, Lois Lane is Superman's chick. So you don't smoke it. All right, I'll go Lois Lane. Lois Lane. What about? Lois Lane or Selena Kyle? That's Catwoman. <laughs> Don't even go there, Blake. Um, who? <laughs> Catwoman? Yeah, Catwoman. Okay. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Camel or horse? Horse. <laughs> Whale or shark? Whale. <laughs> the price is right, our family feud. Does Tropic just write all these questions? Yeah. <laughs> when he throws a man, I like him. I like it. I like it. <laughs> was not thing over. Um probably family feud. I think Steve Harvey's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Um cash or credit? Cash. Plane, train, or car? What? Plane, train, or car? Yeah, which would you rather? Mode of transportation? Uh, 
car. Yeah, probably a Toyota. Pineapples on pizza, yes or no? Yes. Ah. And the home cooked meal or go out? Go out. <laughs> okay. Well, you're there again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fill it in, fill it in, fill it in. My worst job ever was. I've had a lot of those. Um, working at a fireplace company. <laughs> at a fireplace company? Yeah, install fireplaces? Yeah, you sell them, put them all together, and then ship them out and get them installed. Just for people. Before we go there, Thirsty wants AFL or NRL. No competition, AFL. Sorry, Thirsty. There it is. Even though our side has won 19 in a row in the NRL, (laughs) and no one cares because it's just a crappy sport. (laughs) Mm. I love Earthworm Jim, and I love Battletoads. You remember these games? I do. I played a bit of Earthworm Jim, but not Battletoads. So. Battletoads was the stuff. I think I have to go with Battletoads on it. Even though Earthworm Jim could take his whole body apart and whip at you, shoot his little... Z- <laughs> Battletoads, dude. Battletoads, depending on which one you, you could pick, either Pimple, Zit, or Warp. And after the third punch, their fist or their foot turns into something ridiculous. So, like, you could punch once, punch twice... And then an anvil turns into his hand and he knocks the guy off the stage. You can kick once, kick twice, and then his foot turns into a big Timberland boot and he boots him off the stage. <laughs> I need to I need to play it. What was it on? Nintendo, wasn't it? That was that was that was I've, yes. Yeah, that was Nintendo. I've actually got it. Um I've got one of those little mini Nintendos. I do have one of those also. Yeah, but with the uh, four hundred and some odd games on it, I haven't even hooked it up yet. I don't even know yeah, if it worked. I bought it for Christmas last year. Well, they they were for sale down here, and they came with thirty games. But I hacked it, and it's probably got a couple hundred games on it now. But that's on there, yeah. Yeah, play that tonight, and let me know what you think. Tekken or Street Fighter? Oh, still Street Fighter. Yeah, it's got to be Street Fighter. Tekken was too boxy and three. It was two, three. I like the 2D game, personally. I remember getting my a PlayStation 2, but I couldn't afford any games, and I had a demo of Tekken on there, so I played the hell out of it. <laughs> I like this. Uh, GTA or COD? GTA. Easy. Cricket, or, cricket or baseball? GTA for me, too. Um. Uh, cricket. Cricket, that's what you play with the crumpet and put it through the little loops. That's croquet. <laughs> oh. Shut up, man. So what? It's my show. <laughs> I think you're like you're the only country that doesn't play cricket. Everyone else plays cricket. What is cricket? Cricket is oh no, that's polo. You just said that was croquet. What's cricket? Cricket is when you got like two batsmen at either end of a pitch and then you bowl it and they've got to hit it without getting caught and they run between the wickets for runs. Ah, uh, like, okay. Okay. It's okay. like baseball, but better. Okay. <laughs> I can't get into baseball and I really want to like, I, cause it's a sport that's on here a, quite a lot when there's no other sport on and mm-hmm. I would like to like it, but I just struggle. Um, mm-hmm. Thirsty, Jimmy G or Trey Lance? I have to say Jimmy G still, but we'll find out. Mm-hmm. Dragon Ball Z or Naruto? Are you an anime fan? The only anime that I watched was um, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Who is this? Neon Genesis Evangelion. Mm-hmm. That's the only one that I watched a bit of, and I really, really, I do really like like for the anime fans i've always waited for someone to figure out what's on the playstation because i always put the same game on it what is it it's coming if you know what it is 
Counting up. <laughs> it's probably the worst timing to actually point it out. <laughs> <laughs> You need to go see, go watch Naruto though. That is, yeah, I'll check it out. What is that? Is that Samurai Jack? No, who is that? I don't know what that is. JoJo's Bizarre World, Cowboy nah. Bebop. Oh, who's this? <laughs> it's it's not actually a show. I don't think it's a show. Oh, oh, uh, Persona Five. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Persona I love Five. That. Hey, Persona, hey, per, yeah, the Persona stuff was pretty decent. Persona 5 was pretty good. Yeah. Okay. My very first job ever was uh pizza delivery driver. No, no, it wasn't. Record boy. A record boy. <laughs> so, you know, when you go to you probably call them programs, you go to the American football or basketball and they hand you buy a program when you go in? No. Ah, okay. All right. But yeah, your so worst we, job we was the... Footy records. Worst job was the fireplace place. Best job... I mean, uh, first job was the first record. Job. Okay. Yeah, I've had a lot of jobs. <laughs> wife beater or no <laughs> wife. I like it. Coach Carter above the rim, above the rim all day long. Oh, I love that movie. Um, By far the best vacation spot is... Oh, probably, I don't know. Japan was my favorite place I've been. Tokyo. Really? Okay. All right. Yeah, that Very was only nice. a couple of years ago. It was amazing. Okay. All right. Get your footy record here. $5 records, footy records. Yep. <laughs> what the hell is a footy record? It's so it's like a magazine you buy it when you're going to the football, you'll buy it and it'll tell you who's playing and, and news and stuff from footy for the footy. So you always get younger kids. Well, I was 14, so you had to be 14 or older. Um, and you stand around in this high vis yellow <laughs> thing, just screaming out records, get your records. <laughs> and then people come up and buy them off you. And I had, um, I met a celebrity every week when I was 14 doing that. And you probably don't know him. His name's Nick Giannopoulos, but he's a famous actor over here. And he gave me a $95 tip. He gave me a hundred bucks and said, keep the change. I was like, what? That's <laughs> so dope. Cool. So you met Mick yeah. Jagger. He gave you $95, huh? Mick Jagger. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this record book magazine is uh, just... It just has the players and their names and their positions on there. No, nah, it's like got news and stuff like. Okay, all right. Like a a that that sounds like a. Uh, um, what is it that you get with just the names on it? But it's fired out, so it's a whole, it's a whole, it's a whole deal. Yeah, they're like interviews and and oh, stuff. That's and a good and one. old school way before people had phones that they could play on and stuff. You would um. You could mark down how a player was going. Like you could be like, "Oh, he's kicked three goals. He's kicked two, or whatever." Like I never did that, but um, yeah, gotcha. That's what people used to do with it. Afro Samurai was cold. Um, name of your first fish. I don't name fish. Never have and never had a name for a fish. I think I had, but I can't remember it, and they died. So I went, "I'm not naming fish." <laughs> Gotcha. Um, if you could star in any movie, if you remade it with you in it and star in it, what movie would it be? <laughs> um, gee, I don't know. Never, I never think about these normal things, do I? <laughs> <laughs> um. The hot spot's different than watching it, isn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Bubble boy. <laughs> um, 
Is it called Stars on 54? What is it? Studio 54? Studio 54? Okay. <laughs> All right. Taking it back. Disco era, huh? <laughs> Uh, that'd be bad. It Very drives bad. a Toyota and wears Vans. You're weird, man. <laughs> Does Josh drink beer? Uh, very soon, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. We're going to skip the... Oh, uh, no, we're not. I want you to create your own dream tank and, and stock it. What size and stock it? Let me know. Uh, four foot... 100 rummy nose and some rainbows. A four foot a tank with a big aquascape with a big school of Tetris. Okay. okay. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> and some um, rainbow fish. I don't know what fish. Let's just say Bozmani or Bozmani. Um, and Otter Sinkless and. Uh, yeah, just Otto Sinkless, I reckon. As a bit of a cleanup crew, okay. but it'd be a planted tank. I'm getting more and more into planted and aquascaping. So every tank I do, it's about that, and then adding the fish. Really, I like it. I like it. Yeah. I, I'm I'm digging doing this. My planet sixty, and I'm really looking forward to planting some other stuff in the school and uh, getting a nice little look on a, a natural tank. So I, I, I I'm with that. All right, it's time to play community. Hey, not Night girl's here. Hello. Long time Nike no girl. What? Haven't seen you Let's in see Hallas. What's up, Nike girl? Few different. Oh, no, she's leaving. What's the go? <laughs> know. She's out of here. Well, you have a great night, Nike girl. She probably found out how <laughs> weird you were and got up out of here. <laughs> All right. We're going to play Community Chess Community. That's when I go to my community channel. And ask the questions. Ready? Godzilla or King Kong? Uh, Godzilla. 53% agree with you. Uh, which one would you prefer to be? A werewolf or a werepanther? A vampire or succubus? A fairy or a leprechaun? Or a witch or a wiccan? Um, Not which one you want to be, but which one do you like? Which one do I like? Um, yeah. Succubus. Okay. All right. Very nice. 14% agree. More people were going for the werewolf, werepanther. I was thinking werewolf, probably, yeah. Uh, favorite black and white show? Leave it to Beaver, I Love Lucy, Andy Griffith, Perry Mason, or Beverly Hillbilly? What's black and white show? What do you mean? All of these shows were in black and white. <laughs> I'm scrolling. Any... <laughs> uh, I'll say Beverly Hillbillies because I remember it being on TV when I was young. 35% chose that. That's that's the highest. There you go. Favorite stooge, Larry Moe, Curly, Shemp, or Joe? Curly. No. Larry. Larry? Okay. Uh, if you would have stuck with Curly, you would have went with the majority of 55%. Larry has 8%. Joe coming in with 6%. Uh, which two shows are better for you? Uh, Simpsons and American Dad? Rick and Morty and Family Guy? Simpsons and Family Guy? American Dad, Rick and Morty? Or Robot Chicken and Future Futurama? Uh, Simpsons and Family Guy. 49%. Very good. California beaches or Florida beaches? Oh, can't say no to those Florida beaches. <laughs> Never been. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you guys get, I'm pretty sure you guys got some beaches over there, like somewhere around Sydney or somewhere. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know any anywhere else. <laughs> can't, uh, look, no, we've got beaches in every state. There's, there's lots and lots of cool beaches, but um, yeah, Kansas awesome because the weather's always fantastic and and it's right on the great barrier reef oh yeah that's awesome yeah that's awesome although you can't swim there because thanks nike crocodiles. girl <laughs> you said what you can't swim there because there's crocodiles oh my god <laughs> uh ribeye or t-bone uh ribeye 
Uh, the Munsters are the Adams family. They're written by wins. Adam's yes. Family. Adams family wins. Jetsons or Flintstones. Flintstones. Flintstones for the win. Lizards and snake. Lizards or snakes. Lizards. Uh, lizards for the win. Apple or Android. Android. For the win. And lion, tiger, cheetah, panther, or jaguar. Uh, lion. Tied with tiger for the win at 25%. Yeah. I tell you what, this has been by far the weirdest, <laughs> the funniest. I I like I, I don't know about anybody else, but I had I had a great time out here. <laughs> I had a great time. Um, he came through the hot spot. Aquamate did. He did his thing. We're gonna chime him up here. Great job, Aquamate. You've survived the. Uh, you somehow won. I don't know how that works, but. Uh, <laughs> Loud no. noises. <laughs> <laughs> That's been absolutely awesome. I'm stoked to uh, have caught up with you. That went for two hours. <laughs> yeah, man, that's crazy. That's I'm crazy. Have chores to do after this. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, these questions obviously are not continent to to Willie equivalent. Yeah, I, I wasn't thinking about all of the uh, the uh, bodily problems that uh, my guests may have, <laughs> 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 or or the words that mean the same thing that he clearly could have said in in regular American English, but he decides to just go with the uh, old Aussie names for these things. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Hey man, thoroughly enjoyed. Turns out there is a world beyond the U.S. border. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta look at. I gotta look at. <laughs> I gotta look at more Australian stuff, man. You guys have a whole other world. You guys are living down there. And then yeah, well, it's like that. And then in England, they say a whole bunch of stuff, and you're like, what are they talking about? <laughs> Right. Exactly. Exactly. I love it. I love it. I love the way that, you know, we could combine over something like this on the internet and go back and forth and you could teach me a little stuff about whatever you, you're talking about over there. And then, you know, I can laugh at it. <laughs> Just yeah, the boy in the bubble, the allergies. <laughs> Man, that's cool, Aquamate. Man, I really appreciate you coming through, man. Um, I know I hopefully, I, well, I didn't want to hopefully step on anybody's toes this Friday, but I definitely wanted to get you on. Definitely wanted to talk to you and make sure that um, we have this in the books so that I could watch this over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fun, and we'll definitely um, we'll we'll let the internet settle down for a couple months, but then we'll do it again um, and catch up because. Always fun having a chat with you and uh, seeing everyone in the the chat. There's a few people there that I haven't seen for a while, so awesome to see you guys too. Straight up. Hey, Busy Fish Chat, I really appreciate it. Mods, I really appreciate it. I love this. This was great. Aquamate, thanks to you again. We went over the time, but it is always a good time when you're having fun. So I appreciate you guys all for your comments, for your suggestions, and of course your donations. Thank you guys for everything. And uh, we'll be back Monday with 503 Aquatics in the house at the hot spot. Any last words, Ooh. Aquamate? Um, no, just thanks. And everyone stay safe out there and uh, thirsty. Friggin' like send me an email or something. <laughs> it's been a while. Hope you're well, man. Hit them on the email, Thirsty. We'd love to hear from you again. And you guys already know the best stuff is the wet stuff. And we out of here. Peace.